Good morning and welcome back in once again to Morning Moments with Jesus. This morning as we get ready for our devotions, the Lord takes us to Psalm chapter 1 and beginning in verse 1 and verse 2. And these are familiar verses to a lot of believers. And most of the time when we hear verse 1 particularly, we talk about the progression of a person uh, in their life and, and being around ungodly people or people with, that, that doesn't give us really good wisdom in our lives and there is a progression that goes on Uh, God brings a fresh revelation to me this morning as I read this and so often in times we find ourselves in a situation or find ourselves in a season of life I don't know about you but from time to time I've I've had to ask myself this question of how how did I end up here what decisions did I make or what a course of action did I take that uh, allowed me to end up in this position or in this situation? And a lot of the times it's because we listen to other people more than we listen to the Lord. And that's what he's speaking to us this morning in Psalm chapter 1 and verse 1 and 2. Now, listen to what the Word says. And we're going to break a couple of words down here. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Now a lot of times you'll hear the progression from walking to standing to sitting. But I want to look at the words this morning, counsel, the way, and the seat. Because the word counsel here means plans or advice. And here's what the psalmist is telling us. If you've got a decision to make about uh, your life or the, the way you want to plan it out or the things that you've got to do, a lot of times we will seek advice from people. And the Lord tells us here, be very careful who you get advice from. Because their philosophy in life or their plans for their life may not be the plans for your life. And the advice you receive, a lot of times you act upon that advice. And what happens is, you slowly begin to veer off of the path that God has for you. Because somebody else's path may not be your path. Advice is good. But the Lord says, do not take advice or counsel from those who do not walk with the Lord, those who do not hold to His will and His way, because that advice will not lead you closer to the Lord, but could in fact very possibly take you further away. And once you begin to get that counsel, listen to what it says, walk not in the counsel of the ungodly or stand in the way of sinners. Now the word way here means a course of life or a plan of action. So watch this progression. That once you begin to get advice from people, or or, or even if you get online and seek advice from, from websites or whatever the case may be, if they do not line up with the will and the word of God, not only will you get that advice, but that advice will begin to deter you and lead you into a course of life or a course of living that will take you further away from the Lord. He follows it up by saying this, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Now that's very important because this word seat means an inhabited or stationary place. So I hope you see this progression that happened here because Put yourself in this situation. You, you, you want to know what to do, so you seek advice. But you get advice from people who are not walking with the Lord. Their advice becomes your advice, and all of a sudden it sets you on a course of life based on that advice. That course of life ends up putting you in a place that you really never wanted to be or never thought you would be in. The Lord says, that's not what my people should do. But verse number two says, your delight 
should be in my word, in the law of the Lord. And in that law, you should meditate on it day and night. If you want advice, get it from the Lord. If you want a course of life that is going to bring you joy and bring glory to God, seek it through the Word. If you want a place, an inhabited and stationary place in your life that you can be proud of, And that you can say this is exactly where I believe God wants me to be. You're only going to get that from the Lord. And you can get advice from godly people. But that word that you get from a person. Should always be backed up by the will and the ways of God. So I pray that blessing over you today. That if you're seeking advice or you're seeking a direction in your life. That you would only seek it through the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. Meditate on His Word. Get in His Word. The answers is always there. You just got to find them. Don't take the easy route. That will never lead you to the place where the Lord wants you to be. I pray that today you'd be safe, you'd be strong, and you'd always be blessed. In the Lord's will, we will see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, walk, stand, and sit in the place where God would want you to be. And you have a great and wonderful day.